and welcome to another Calamaris tutorial. We are going to install Windows, yeah, on VirtualBox. And then any Linux distribution, ours is Arco Linux. So that's the good priority. First Windows on your SSD or hard disk, then Linux. Okay, super F7, let's go ahead. So if you wanna experiment it, learn, do it first on VirtualBox. So new, we're going to install Windows 10. And for me, there would be no fun if it was just the standard Windows fun. So I went and found myself, downloaded myself um, preview, an early release. Now I'm gonna take 100 gigabytes as hard disk, so SSD, hard disk, 100 gigabyte. 70 gigabyte is going to be for Windows and 30 is going to be for any Linux later. Create. Go in the settings, always go in the settings and go and have a look. I just made a video and I've had to redo it again. Never mind. But the point is I had forgotten to do my settings and it did install. It did install, but it gave errors in the process. So I, this was a setting I had. It had to be of it's better that you set it to 50, 50, four and eight. I did forget this one. I forgot all of all the settings. So this is what I recommend. Display was set like this. I recommend 50, 50. This was set like this, which gave us errors so VBOX VGA and enable 3D acceleration. That's the proper settings that I like to try out. This looks like more like this, right? 50-50. Is that because I changed this here? No. Anyway, so that's okay. 50-50. And that's it for me. Storage, done. So these are the settings I should have done, right? I should have done. I'm just gonna recheck again because it's important, of course, not to do the video three times. Just two seems to be enough already. Okay, now the download. I've downloaded this guy. Windows 10 inside a preview client x64 ENGine 8912. 912 okay click double click Control f and let's boot into windows we're going to pause from time to time because it's a lot of screens you know if you have done it before you know it's a lot of waiting time again for me keyboard belgian period where are you? Next. Install now. And to cut the movie a little bit shorter, I'm going to pause from time to time. Don't have a product key. Never will, by the way. Windows 10 Pro. Next. That's the one I choose from uh, where the same version we have at university. And upgrades. There is nothing to upgrade. There is nothing there. So install Windows only. If I do next, it's already okay, actually. But normally I would click on new and then you see the two lines, two partitions is gonna make. Now you didn't see it. So if you're installing for the real thing, make sure your data drives are not hooked so that Windows not, cannot uh, install Windows 10 per accident over your data drive. So a USB hard disk is best, plug it out. If it's an internal thing, be careful. Or, or if it's desktop, you can unplug it as well. Just open your the side of your desk of your case and uh, unplug the wires. That's what I do. Okay, let's wait for this installation to install here to finish. So we're back. Let's start with region. Is this right? What do you think? So, no GOIP. 
this is the right keyboard sure this Belgian periods skip and then we're gonna get some other screens in a moment and there's the next screen set up for personal use sounds right about right next and here they want us to go for joining the family the Microsoft family so an Outlook and Hotmail and MSN something similar and create an account or choose it I'm gonna go for an offline account again they're trying to sell to get to to Microsoft account because we're, because we're going to miss out so much no last time or even better use an online account three times but I'm gonna make a local account I'm gonna use a super difficult memorable password can't forget this one and then the fun stuff starts what was your first pet's name hell and fury but it takes too long to type what's the name of the city whatever is a great city or doom city or something like that or sin city childhood nickname let's keep keep with hell hellbender and there we go we're off to all the other questions I'm gonna answer just always never um, let Microsoft and so on so never 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 you check it out what it does what it, you want to have and I'm gonna click through this because that's not the point of the video you decide what you like and then a no and then waiting hi pausing the video again so we've booted up and we're gonna on the slack that's what it says here and this is going to be your very newest Windows release the size is a bit rubbish this is already a little bit better and we are now this version was built this number and there we go so that's Windows first things first first Windows then you're going to get any Linux ISO doesn't really matter if it's Arc Linux or anything else but preferably something with a graphical installer because they take care of your partitioning so if you're gonna choose another disk like Arco Linux 1907.9 it has a graphical installer right it's going to boot into Calamaris which is going to provide all the service we need and there are others like Anaconda and others you ubiquity i think it's called but we are focused on calamars for future reference this is 3.2.10 and we are going to get things done here so this is the important bit we're going to say okay i'm going to install alongside i'm going to game on this partition on the green partition and the other one i'm going to learn so this is going to be Linux stuff and this is going to be Windows stuff and let's uh, install it alongside. That's basically what Calamaris is doing and saying. Like so. And as usual, I've done this week 160 plus installations of Calamaris. You'll just have to wait till everything is installed and um, reboot. So let's pause the video here all right everything uh, installed fine restarting and then yes of course control F let's get rid of the ISO so you see the first boot up screen so by ISO double click control F and this is what you get so we have now 
a grub that says here is the Windows 10 on SDA 1 on SDA 2 there is Arc Linux and let's boot into it maybe a quick glance at Gparted and then of course going to Windows hoping everything is okay all the games are there maybe some work related stuff so this is what we've got system reserved partition so listen over here the boot EFI thing from Arc Linux so the way to boot is there and then we have here the partition for Windows so SDA 2 I'm saying that correctly yes this is the megabytes the gigabytes and the Linux partition like I said it's only 9 gigabytes if you see that a clean Windows 10 is actually already 26 using 26 um, gigs. Oh, sorry, 10, <laughs> totally wrong. Um, this is not correct. No, so using 10 gigabytes of um, space and Arc Linux is using 8.49, but this guy contains nothing and this guy, Arc Linux full, contains Inkscape, GIMP, three browsers, lots of editors and so on. So yeah, this is a full installation. And if you go full, then it's probably gonna be between 20 and 30 on Windows for the same software. So a little bit of leftover in here. Not sure what that is, but it is used. Uh, yeah, I think I don't know already, but never mind. So that's that, and then we restart, and we go to the Windows version, Windows partition, and hopefully that's always the what people are afraid of if they install Linux on the same partition or the same hard disk. Better um, have I lost my Windows system if I do that? So try it out first on. VirtualBox. So here you have it. It's still working, it's still fine. You can restart again and go back to Arc Linux and so on and so on. Well, any Linux partition, like I said, it's best to have something graphical. The graphical installers normally take care of all the resizing and also uh, the grub thing. So you need to be able to boot up into it. So that's that. You have your um, Arc Linux system and your Windows system up and running on one physical hard disk now. And um, that's the end of the tutorial. Have fun!